Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I bet you're wondering what this mess is, right? Um, I'm getting ready for my fall craft fairs, and I got three this month, so I'm making these cute little sock cupcake treat bags. So there's two pairs of socks, and then on the top of the sock cupcake, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little bat ring and a nail polish. So it's two pairs of socks, a nail polish, and a little toy. I'm going to bag it up and tag it with this adorable little Happy Halloween cat tag. I kind of let the um, theme of the socks determine how I made the tag, so there's more than one of these videos, but I um, figured why not share with you? Maybe it'll inspire you. All right, let's take a look at the supplies that you need to make this cool project. All right, for this adorable little Halloween hang tag, I have my Stampin' Up! Cat Punch. I have a two inch circle punch. I have my two every season bundle. This is a photopolymer stamp set, 23 pieces. And we're gonna use this cutie little bat right here. Fun part is, is with this stamp set, there's a punch for the leaf, the snowflake, the bat, and the heart. The three little punches come together in one little punch pack and then when you bundle the punch pack and the stamp set you save 10% on both items so we're gonna do the little bat here's my little bat punch I also have my snowman season stamp set we're gonna use a little to and from stamp from there you can use any stamp set that has a to from in it my ink for this project is memento tuxedo black my Stampin' Up! supplies here, consumable supplies, are basic black cardstock. This is for the tag. And this is five and a half inches by two inches. Got a piece of Monster Bash Designer Series paper here. This is one and three quarters by two and a half. Got a piece of Whisper White for the inside of my tag. This is one and five eighths by two and an eighth. And then I've got a scrap of basic gray for doing my bats. And I have resurrected the lemon lime twist for this design because of the cool socks that I found. Look at these, they're Hallmark. They're spooky cool cats. And the other one is cool stripes with neon heels and toes. So, inspired by the socks and then enabled by the clearance rack, because. I don't know if you've noticed in the last clearance rack refresh, Stampin' Up! put the lemon lime twist roused ribbon, so I got some of that. And what else do I have here? Oh, my little bat ring for the top of my cupcake. I picked these up at Walmart. They're nicer quality than the ones at the Dollar Tree. Just a little side note there. I've got a nail polish. I get my LA Colors either at Walmart and they're like 97 cents or at my Dollar Tree. They have a different variety of colors and they get fun seasonal ones and stuff. So for this one, I go in with this cool fuchsia color. They've got cool names too. This one's called Hibiscus. I've got a little party favor bag. I picked these up at the craft store. It's four inches by two inch gusset by nine and a half inches long. And then, if you've been watching my Halloween videos, you've seen my little baker's twine. You can substitute this out for linen thread or any baker's twine that you have. I think I've covered most everything. I have a little cupcake wrapper here. You can use the Halloween cupcake wrappers that are so readily available everywhere in stores. And that'd be a great way to just pop these socks into a Halloween wrapper. All right, I'm clearing some space here because we're gonna work on our tag and you may simply score tool. We're gonna pop the tag in on the five and a half inch side and we're gonna score at two and three quarters. Super simple. And let's burnish that fold. I'm gonna teach you how to roll the socks into a cupcake, but first I'm gonna assemble some of these pieces before I lose something. Stick them together, I can't lose them. Well, I could lose the whole thing, but <laughs> it's a little harder to lose the whole thing than it is to lose individual bits. 
All right, so I'm gluing my designer series paper to the front of this little fold. We're making an itty bitty little card now. How cute is that, right? And we can go ahead and glue the Whisper White to the inside of the tag. Now here, if you wanted to play it safe, you could stamp the to and from first, just in case, because once it's glued down, it's hard to get that out of there if you stamp crooked or smear it or whatever. And you'll notice that it's about equal around the right, left, and bottom, but at the top there's a little bit bigger margin. And that's purposeful because we're going to punch a hole in this tag to tie it on. And you can punch through less layers of paper if you make that top margin a little bit wider. All right, two from on the inside. And while we're stamping, let's make a couple little bats here. Oh, I love this little dude. Are you getting tired of him yet? Don't worry. I'm almost done Halloween crafting. Then we'll start working with the snowflake. <laughs> You'll get tired of that one too. I've got so many ideas in this too. Every season is the perfect stamp set for cute little greetings and awesome little extras embellishments. All right, our moon gets stamped left of center and high of center with Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm, so cute. Oh, you know what I forgot? And I forgot on my last cat video too. We need some black cardstock to punch our cat. I don't know why I keep thinking that it's just going to appear. Let's get our cat punch and make us a little kitty. There she is. Maybe it's a he. I don't know. It's my cat. All right. Punch my little bats. They're so, so cute. They're the perfect little accent. Now let's take our cat and we're going to go ahead and glue our cat to our moon. So it's going to hang over the edges, the ears, the feet, the bottom, the end of the tail, all of that. So Placement for your glue is important here. Watch where you put the glue. You also want to make sure that your sentiment runs level. When you like the placement, burnish it down. All right, now the back of our cat. Let's go ahead and adhere with dimensionals. We've got minis. We're going to use quite a few. I want to use the edge here to support that tail. So we're going to cut a small piece. My dimensionals are all sticky. We're going to line up our cat right along the bottom of the tag. It's going to overlap the designer series paper and the little toes of the cat are going to hang off the tag and the edge of the moon is going to hang off the tag. So this cat is going to completely fill the tag. Now let's glue our little bats before I lose them again. Did you see that? I almost lost them. I'm not joking. A little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. We want them to swirl around the greeting in the moon. The moon is made of green cheese today, that's for sure. Got a 1 8 inch hole punch here. I'm going to punch right through the corner of the tag. Now you could stop right here if you want to, or you can do like me, and more is more, and more is not enough. I love to add a little something extra when it's already got plenty enough as it is, right? But I'm going to make a little bow from this black and orange baker's twine, and I'm going to glue it on our little cat. So I'll make a dot on the cat's neck and trim off the spool and then we'll just drop it right in that little dot of glue. What a cute little tag, right? You could put that on anything, but we're going to put it on sock cupcakes. Alright, so I've got my socks here, two pairs, and we're going to roll them up make a little cupcake here. I want little swirly striped frosting, so I'm going to take my two pairs of socks. The first one, first pair, I'm going to fold 
in half. And because of the shape of the sock, it's not going to fold completely in half quite yet. We're going to have to angle that just a little bit. There we go. And you can do that as you're rolling too. So that's about what you're looking for. Then you're going to take the toe of the sock and you're going to fold it down and make a 90 degree angle here. Do you see that? Little point. Then we're going to start to roll nice and tight. And we're going down, spiraling down as we go. Now here we're going to have to reevaluate that fold because of the way the socks are shaped. But we're going to get that fold back and we're going to bring around one more time here. All right, so there's our frosting. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to take our second pair of socks. This is where we're going to lose our cat for a little while. It'll be a delightful surprise when somebody unrolls their cupcake. We're going to take this band across the top here and we're going to meet the two of them together and we're going to wrap the second pair of socks just about maybe a half an inch below the first pair. We'll get all the way around. We're going to stretch it just a little bit and then bring it till the toes. Now. There's our little cupcake from the top. From the bottom to secure this, we're going to tuck in the end of that first pair of socks. Do you see? It's almost like um, we're making a little donut down here, a little, a little belly button maybe. We're tucking them in and get them in there nice and tight and secure. See? So it's starting to look like a donut at the bottom. The tighter you do this little donut right here, this little belly button, the better your cupcake is going to stay together. So there's your little sack cupcake. Isn't that cute? I just love it. All right, let's decorate our sack, sack cupcake. We're going to put the little bat ring in the frosting, and then we're going to drop that in our little um, cupcake wrapper. Okay, you've got it seated in there as best you're going to get it because these are fat cupcakes. They're almost more like muffins. Then we're going to slide it into the bag, into the treat bag. And then right beside that, we're going to drop our little nail polish in. And then they'll hold each other nice and snug in this four inch bag. Okay, let's bring that together. Make sure we got it facing front. And I'm going to close this off with this awesome Roush ribbon from the clearance rack. Perfect color for Halloween. Go pick up some really cheap ribbon. Great for closing bags. So beautiful. All right, I've secured my bag. Just tied it on. Now, Let's get the tie down there. And how I like to do that is I like to do it with a little elastic. I've got some elastic cord here, about eight inches, folded in half. I'm gonna thread the loop end through the tag from the front to the from the back to the front, and then slide and pull. And then I'll take one of the elastic tails and I'll secure that in the bow that we're making from the lemon lime twist. So I'm going to loop up and then over the top, tuck, then we can bring the top half of the elastic over the bow, pull to position our tag, and then tie the tag on with a thread knot. So loop it over your index finger and pull the tails through. love and miss lemon lime twist if you do too watch the clearance rack and grab it as it pops up it's a great color uh, let's take our ribbon snips here I'm gonna cut the elastic cut the roush ribbon all right guys there it is isn't it too cute look at our little sock cupcake treat 
Uh, if you've got questions about the treat or about supplies, anything I can do to help you stay crafty, email marissa at kitchentablestamber.com to shop the clearance rack or otherwise 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.